Hey guys, Simply Betta here. I'm coming at you today with day two of the daily vlog challenge for February that I'm trying. In yesterday's video, I mentioned uh, my big to-do list and all these improvements I wanted to make in the fish room. I thought maybe I would share what's going through my head with you guys because it's fun. It's fun talking about the things I want to do and to see if I'll actually do it and maybe get like a before and an after. So what I'm trying to do in the fish room is I'm trying to make it more efficient I want to be spending less time just maintaining everything and hopefully get to the point where I don't really have to put in that much time each day into the fish room compared to what I'm doing now. Um, I want less maintenance, less water changes, just kind of less of everything, but not less enjoyment. One of the easier things I'd like to do is I'd like to hang lights on my shelves and actually have, have lighting on the bottom of my shelves shining down. And that shouldn't be too hard. I already have the LED lights. That's kind of going to be a piece of cake, but before I do that, I. I need to improve my wire, my cable management. I don't like the way my electrics are set up. I really need to change it. So it's haphazard right now. I'm using a lot of extension cords and things aren't screwed up above ground level like they should be at the moment, so I wanna fix that. I want to replace some of my 10 gallon tanks with 20 gallon longs, and the reason for that is double the water volume means less water changes, less maintenance for taking care of my spawns. I can't do that with all of my spawns, but I have four spaces where a 20 gallon could go. I do have to drill some holes. I would like to do some repainting and resealing on one of my shelves because on one of my shelves, I forgot to seal it with polyurethane. And so, uh, I mean, my, my shelves are made of OSB, which is pretty sensitive when it comes to moisture and getting wet. And I really want to just seal that and finish it. So we'll see if I get to that. I have a fun project out in the garage that I'd like to share that I'm almost done with. I want to take I want to take a complete inventory of all the plants that I have. I have quite a plant collection kind of dispersed throughout tanks in my house and I'd like to just kind of write down what I have before I forget because that'll happen. If I just let it go, next year I'll come back and I'll forget what that plant is and I'll forget what that plant is. I'll forget where I got that plant. I don't want that to happen. I want to know. Um, I need to get my online store ready and going again. As my, my current spawns grow out, I'd like to be able to offer some for sale, which means photography. I have to get my photography set up out and I can probably share me doing that. So that's on my to-do list. I also have products I'd like to take pictures of for the website like live food cultures and Indian almond leaves and little things like that. Maybe some snails and floating plants. I want to DIY some glass lids for everything in my fish room. I'd follow a bunch of DIY tutorials I've seen people do like Steve Poland cichlids. Just get some nice glass lids. That's mostly to help control humidity in the fish room. I just like to bring that down a little bit. I'd love to improve my air system and actually get just like a centralized air pump that powers everything in the fish room instead of using my you know, one, one air pump here, one air pump there, one air pump over there type situation that I have now. I want to finish and share my grow out rack that I made. It's going to be, eventually it's going to be a circulating grow out rack for my bigger fry. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. All I have to do is finish the plumbing and I can make a video about it. So I have a pretty big to-do list. Most, most of it are just little things, but it adds up. It's gonna be a lot of work, but luckily it's something that I enjoy doing. It doesn't feel like work to me. Kind of my rough to-do list uh, that I hopefully I'll be able to do a lot of things in, in this month, in February, because I'll be making a video every single day and I wanna be working a little bit in the fish room, improving it to what I see in my head every single day. Tomorrow I have a big errand day in my nearest city and I'm gonna be picking up some supplies to help me do all these things that I have in my head. I'll be going to Home Depot, I'll be going to Petco. That'll be fun. Tomorrow's video might be boring because it's just like me doing errands, but whatever. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Jeez. Uh. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for all this cool stuff that I'm gonna try to get done in February. I'm, I've been thinking that I do need a prize if I get through the whole month doing a daily video. I do, and I think I know what it might be, but I haven't decided yet if you have any ideas but what my prize might be, you should let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow. So when I got home today, just from running errands, like going to the grocery store and blah, 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 um, my Bearded Dragon's tank was open and it was missing, which is a problem. So our, our Bearded Dragon could be anywhere in our downstairs area and we looked everywhere and I finally, 
I finally found her. She had crawled across the house into my baby's room. And then she crawled through my baby's room. She crawled behind this little rocking chair and made herself really comfortable underneath this inflatable plastic baby swim tube. Hi. Hey, Sheila. Do you have something to tell me? Sorry, Sheila, you've been captured. Let's go put you back in your cage where you can warm up a bit. How does that sound? Does that sound good? You wanna warm up a bit? <laughs>